everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Steph and today we're going to chat about fantasy books. So I was not anticipating on kind of diving back into fantasy as much as I did this year. So I want to chat with you about the books that I read. Some were very trendy and some were new and upcoming and I'm so glad I read them. I'm going to start from ranking like number 10, like my top 10 fantasy, and then we'll work our way up to my very favorites from this year, 2021. All right, so here we go. Starting with the first one, I ended up reading the Shadow and Bone trilogy. Really enjoyed it, but basically wanted to read this so that I could get to the Six of Crows duology. <laughs> and I'm a stickler for reading things in order, so I had to read them in order. So if I had to rank number one, be the Shadow and Bone trilogy. Not my favorite, but I was glad I got the whole setup, and Nikolai was definitely my favorite part of the whole trilogy. <laughs> Then we'd rank up to Darker Shade of Magic. This is a trilogy. I really enjoyed the tension, the creativity. A lot of these, almost all of these, I read on audio. I have to say these audiobooks were fantastic. Really helped me differentiate the characters and the places. I didn't have to worry about how to pronounce anything because I could just listen to it and hear it pronounced. So I was really glad that I got to check out this trilogy as well. Then we went to the ever popular Akatar series, starting with The Court of Thorns and Roses. And then I've ended up reading all of the books that are out so far. This was quite a journey. I was expecting a young adult series and really, I don't think that's what this is. This is like new adult into adult, basically. One of the things that really had me interested in some of the books on this list was finding fan art. I've really discovered several on Instagram and Pinterest. And I just think it's really cool to see what different people kind of picture these characters to look like. Sometimes I have a hard time picturing them if they're different otherworldly. So I found that finding some fan art kind of helped solidify my images as I was listening to these audiobooks of what these characters or these worlds looked like. So I thought that was really, really a neat kind of way to enhance my reading experience with a lot of these books. Next one we have was Daughter of the Pirate King. This is one I especially thought was really, really good on audio. It definitely sets the scene and it sounds piratey and it just kind of transforms you to the story. And I have to say, I read the Fable duology after reading this and I thought it was kind of a little bit of a letdown. I know so many people love the Fable duology and I didn't dislike it, but I kind of wish I had read it at a different time and not back to back with Daughter of the Pirate King. But I really like this. If you're a fan of Pirates of the Caribbean, things of that nature, I think you'll really enjoy this book. So as long as you go into this knowing that the character is, I think, 17 years old and she basically acts like she's like her mid-20s. She's totally not. If you just dispense the belief that she doesn't act her age, the, the character growth and the story is really interesting and unique. Next up we have I kind of have a little bit more than 10 here. I'm just like squeezing them in. So this is kind of like level four or five. What I have here is the Six of Crows duology, which was fantastic. I was not prepared for the end of Crooked Kingdom. My heart was, uh, was not happy. <laughs> but it is really well done. And I love the character development is really intriguing, really creative. And I especially, I know so many people ship Kaz and Ain Edge. I'm totally cool with that. I think it's awesome. But their backstories, as well as just Kaz in general, I get why people hate him now so much. I get it. And of course, I always love disabled representation on the page. And I thought he's such an interesting, complex character to read about. And he just happens to have a disability, which is just one thing to make him even more unique. So I thought he's really cool to read. Another series that was really, really neat, recommended to me by Bookstagram friends, is Caraval. I didn't know much about this, but I kind of just went into it going blind, and I'm so glad I read this when all three of the books were published, because I basically binge read all three of these in one week. They each end up with a cliffhanger, except for the very end. This is about two sisters and their adventure going to this place where we have a traveling carnival, basically like a game for, I want to say, seven nights. But there are real risks and mysteries involved in the games and real threats around each corner if you're not careful. So we get to see this really, really neat dynamic mystery and suspense. And it's really exciting to read. It's young adult books and just very entertaining. It definitely keeps you on your toes, keeps you guessing. So really, really glad that I took up all my friends recommendation who recommended this to me on bookstagram. Next one we had is the only standalone on this list which was phenomenal which is Sorcery of Thorns. I actually made a video I should go back and find it and share this on YouTube because Sorcery of Thorns was a phenomenal world building experience, character development, and it's all in one book. I think it was like a 14 hour audiobook, but from start to finish, the world building was consistent. It was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. And it's about a girl who works in a library. 
and the library is like magical and I'm just like this is perfect for any book lover I, I loved it it was fantastic I so enjoyed this and I can't recommend it enough next up we have the four kingdoms series by Melanie Sellier she writes fairy tale retellings and I just really got swept up in these stories and it was one of those that I just was so fun to read I just kept reading them and I think I read five or six books they're really fast reads I think I read them within like a week week and a half over the summer where I didn't have anything else to do and I could just read 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 and it was so fun it's so great and thoroughly enjoyable the second one in the series is the one that stands out to me as my favorite but each of the characters is unique and interesting and enjoyable young adult fairy tale retellings the reason I like the second one so much is it really feels like a reverse Suko story Suko from the last Airbender. we really feel like we have a girl version of him with the complexities of his family and trying to be safe but also lashing out at other people in order to protect herself. It isn't always warm and fuzzy but there's a lot more happening than what just appears on the surface. So I really enjoyed that and thought the series was fantastic and I'm looking forward to reading more from her soon. Next up we have the Riven Kingdom series. Oh my gosh I picked this up on a whim and I literally couldn't put it down. I think I read the whole book in one night. One thing to know about these, there are four books in the series. The fourth one just came out, so I'm so, so glad. I started the series once all of them were published because they were just fantastic. And the first three end up on cliffhangers. So I was really glad that I didn't have to wait a year or however long to see what happens next. She's a really fantastic writer. I've never read anything by Sherry Tapscott before, but I absolutely will be reading more from her because she is fantastic. And I really liked her world building. It was easy to follow. It was really fun to get invested in these characters and see what this story was all about. My battery is running low, so I'm going to speed through these. We have the Lost Princess series and the Ferris Meeting by Jody Headland, but my top, top favorite is Courtney Kiesel's Desolation series. It was phenomenal, entertaining, literally turning pages to see what happens next, and literally can't do anything until I know what happens to these characters. So that is my fantasy list. Thank you so, so much for watching. I loved these books and would love to hear what your favorites were. If you've read any of these, let me know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more fun content like this from me. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody.